7 Eyewitness News has its eye on education, and with a new school year just around the corner, state education leaders are taking a hard look at potential changes to the high school region's exams. 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley talked to some local education leaders about whether the state should continue to require mandatory testing for graduation. This is long overdue. I, I think that our young people um, come from such diverse backgrounds. We need to have options to fit those diverse backgrounds. Burgard High School principal Charlene Watson tells 7 Eyewitness News the system of requiring students to pass five regions to graduate with a regents diploma does not apply anymore. Oh, it's absolutely a struggle. I probably have about five ENL students in summer school right now who did not graduate because they were unsuccessful with passing all five regents exams. And it's disappointing. But do you think the regents should go away completely? Oh, absolutely not. We have students who could get advanced designation diplomas, and they should also have those options to get that advanced, that regents diploma or the regents advanced designation diploma. We need to start as soon as we can. Western New York Regent Dr. Katherine Fisher Collins says the regents should remain, but a local diploma should also be created. So I think that we need to give our kids an option. They need to leave here able to go either into the military, work um, into a various crafts. Burgard already provides a program for students to learn trades, but they still need to gain their Regents diploma. In February, Regents Chancellor Betty Rosa raised concerns, saying 60% of states do not require the test to graduate. She pointed to achievement gaps in high school graduation rates and wants a full Regents review. A commission will be created. Regent Collins is recommending Principal Watson be on the Blue Ribbon Panel from Buffalo. The commission will be formed over the next month, but final recommendations for the region's testing won't be made until the fall of 2020. At Burgard High School in Buffalo, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News. Straight ahead.